so boom hope y'all enjoyed that performance test man like i said we we gotta play catch up i took too long off of doing this because as i'm filming this i finished the next performance test i i'm working on a bunch of stuff at the same time and it's my fault i got behind i got a little lazy i got i was like oh i gotta do that i was taking time off and then i was like oh my birthday's coming up so now i gotta like rush to do this if i want to go celebrate my birthday weekend because i won't be anywhere with service i'm rambling but yes, man, first and foremost, I want to say huge shout outs and big ups. Thank you so much to Invictus Gloves for sending me these gloves. Send me the gloves. They wanted me to review it, see what I thought about them. And you know, Invictus, I am an ambassador with them. And so they sent it to me, chop it up with them here and there. And so huge shout outs to y'all at Team Invictus. If y'all ever want to fly me out to Canada, I'm down. But regardless of all that, y'all know I'm here to speak the truth and let's see if it's worth getting the 3.0s over the 2.0s. Let's see if the changes and adjustments from the 2.0s to the 3.0s is worth it. If just overall the increased price point because of these adjustments are worth the new price point. Let's get into that right now. With an overall improved fabric from the Armist 2.0s, the 3.0s here have a marbled palm just for aesthetics. Um, no changes to the stick. It doesn't affect the stick or anything. It's it's just again, it's a design point. Besides the overall increased fabric and the palms, those are all the major you know, selling points of the 3.0s. And with those improvements, the increased price point is now at 50, is now a $15 increase. So that's like $55, I believe. Let's see if that price point is worth it compared to the 2.0s. All right, into the pros. <sighs> Look, the comfortability of these gloves is literally insane, bro. The new fabric just feels expensive. And I'm not trying to say, like, I thought so hard how to say that without sounding like a fanboy or without sound, like, you know, I try to make as much sense, as, as much objective sense as I can. But these gloves literally feel expensive and in a good way. From the new fabric has kind of that, that holy, H-O-L-E, holy, kind of like basketball shorts vibe with kind of like how the Addy Zeros, I think it was Addy Zeros. I gave big up to the Addy Zeros for having like a, I think it was on the thumb area. I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but they have kind of like a basketball short kind of breathability. So uh, the more you move your hands, the more you move around, the more airflow you're going to get because those holes are going to expand as you tighten your fists because you know, it's going to open up. These are all along the back on these ones compared to the Addy Zeros, I believe they are only like towards the palm area. On top of that, the layer outside is a silk. I guess silk is a fabric that you would want to think of here because the airflow you get in is cool. It feels like you have a built-in AC unit in your hands when you wear these gloves. And grip. Moving on to grip, another pro. The Armist gloves don't have the craziest gloves. You know, you put them up against the Grip Boost DNAs, that, those DNAs have a different type of grip that set those apart from the competition. But when you put the Armist 2.0s and 3.0s, pretty much they don't have that wow factor at grip, but you put them up against a lot of a lot of gloves, they win, they're gonna win a lot of those fights. And this other pro is kind of like a two for one deal, but they kind of coexist within each other. The durability and overall, I guess, quality of the build of the glove is just it's just straight up impressive here because of this new design you're gonna have the layers you're gonna have first layer that's gonna give you kind of a stretchy feel so that's gonna be the elastic underneath that gives you those holes for the breathability that layer on top i don't know what it's called but it's kind of like a silk bro so when you put these together and then you have the stitching you know the stitching isn't connecting two plastic pieces that would give you a higher chance of breaking these weak spots are gonna be intertwined and connected so with these weak spots eliminated on these gloves, you have a lower chance of breaking them or, you know, ripping or etc. The layering designed for breathability and flexibility adds to the durability because it feels light at the same time it adds structure due to the fabric, due to the elastic fabric that gives you that kind of structure of your hand. The layering designed for breathability and flexibility, here it adds sort of a structure as well as a light aspect, like physical, like weight wise the light aspect because of that elastic fabric. Moving on to cons, I'll admit it, I'll admit it. $55 for a pair of gloves is pricey. Not to mention these gloves aren't gonna be at Dick Sporting Goods or wherever you guys buy your gloves. So you're gonna have to pay for online shipping and handling. So that's gonna be well over 60 bucks. I'll say give or take, depending on where you go. That's expensive for a pair of gloves. And I'll admit that. And you could get 10% off if you use the code in the description, bro. I got y'all. Still, nonetheless, these gloves are more expensive. You can still use my code and get a discount. And then yeah, just waiting for it all to come in and stuff is, I guess, 
guess you would put as a con because you could just go to the store and grab certain gloves. You know, you put them on, cool, I got it, blah, 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 blah. These ones, there's more of a longer process of grading them because they are gonna be shipped to you and they cost more. Another con, this is more so like a personal preference. For those of you that know Invictus makes golf equipment, you can kind of see where their inspiration from their golf equipment goes into these football gloves. I personally love the subtlety and just the sleek design of the straight black, straight white. The marbling, I use, I like the white ones. The marbling on the white ones is black, so it kind of looks like they're like dirty, but I like it because you don't have to keep it so sleek and clean because it has that marbling on the front of the white ones, so it has like black stripes and it like, at first you're like, oh, is it dirty? It's like, no, it's the design. I'm digressing. The gloves, you can kind of, they don't look like football gloves, honestly. They feel soft, they look soft. Maybe that'll throw some people off. Um, Like I said, minor inconvenience if you don't like the way they look. I personally love the way they look and they feel the way they look. And yeah, man, these, honestly, <laughs> the, <laughs> Invictus is turning into the Ferrari of football gloves, bro. Like, I don't have any other way to put that. The quality is just so above and beyond and you can see it. It looks expensive, it is expensive, and this, this quality isn't for nothing. You know, you have the comfortability because of the breathability and the fabric that looks soft. It is soft. Oh my gosh, what is in my nose, bro? The, oh, again, going back to that new fabric, the durability is gonna be long lasting because this equipment is again it's just there's less weak spots because the get up the layers the multi layers adds to each other but in the same time they eliminate the weak spots because it has less stitching on it because it's made of different fabric and dude like okay look so i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't know how hot it is where y'all are but it's it's 105 right now. Well, as the time I'm filming this, I, I go to the field earlier in the mornings because it's so hot now. But even then, you get out to the field at 8 a.m., it is still 88 degrees, 90 degrees. It's been hot as hell, bro. That again, I don't know what else to describe it as, but that silk feel combined with the airflow, you put your hands in these gloves and they literally cool down. That's, that's it, man. But before, I continue on my love for these gloves and y'all flame me in the comments for being a fanboy of these gloves. You know, y'all could assume all y'all want, all they got sent to you so you love them. Like, nah, I've had stuff sent to me that I did not like. But these, bro, I'm gonna just hurry up and end this review so y'all, y'all just see for yourself, bro. Use, a, use the code for InvictusGloves.com. Get you a pair, bro. Just, just try them out, bro. Tell me if I'm wrong. I ain't got nothing else to say about them. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Yes, I am going to do a uh, Armist 2.0 versus 3.0, so we're gonna do the comparisons head to head. Yeah, I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Shout out to Invictus again as well. And if nobody's told you yet, I know the show grind. Keep up the hard work, it's gonna pay off one day. And I will catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.